Hello guys, welcome back to the Matrix of Life channel and you know how much I love the topic of primary elements. So today's pick a card gonna be dedicated to elements. We will have four different groups. This is four different elements. Uh, how you pick in your pile in this reading? If you know your primary element already, maybe I calculated it for you um, during private consultation or as a gift, or maybe you passed a test. There was a video with funny one test about primary elements. Uh, so you sure which element, maybe you watched my other videos on primary elements and you recognized yourself in one of the descriptions. So you choosing based on your first primary element, you're choosing your pile and they're definitely gonna be a message for you. And here we go, we're gonna start with a water group. And I will be petitioning six different questions for water group. So guys, here we go. Let's ask now the element you should spend more physical time with. You know, logically based water uh, tend to spend a lot of time next to water. But maybe at the current moment you experience some lack of other element as well. Everything should be in a balance. So element you should spend more physical time with, my dear watery group. Here we go, Earth. You need some grounding. You experiencing this um, lack of grounding and lack of... Um, I don't want to say lack of money, but here it comes like... Some financial difficulties anyway. So you need to be more grounded and connect to earth more waters. You're too watery. You're too romantic at the moment because we're picking up on your current energies. You need some more earth elements. Uh, spend time in a beautiful garden, hugging trees, you know. Uh, spend time by smelling different nice aromas because this is an earth element too all sort of aromas you may go if you woman feminine you may go and choose yourself a new perfume a new smell and this is gonna be as well really nice process of grounding and attracting well somehow because money here in your case they're gonna come on the smell so please spend more time uh, spend more time maybe taking care of a plant there was a really wonderful recommendation at my Instagram for those who are carriers of six en uh, matrix energy, matrix energy number six, that um, get yourself a plant, call it with your name, talk to it. Whenever you will be talking, call it with your name, take care of it, provide for it. So all these advices, you need more earth. Um, I'm getting a lot of water and watery emotions, but lack of earth here, you need more grounding. Uh, spend some time taking care of plants, maybe planting trees. This is nice idea as well. Uh, taking care, if you don't have plants, get yourself, even cactus will work in your case. Always oh, aromas, it's easier. Spend time in the garden, high in trees, in a forest, forest walk here. All sort of these activities will make you more grounded, okay? Uh, now let's ask an element that you could learn something from right now. From whom you can learn, from which element you need to learn something right now. From which element? Watery group. My beautiful watery group <clears throat> from fire. Don't wait here, guys. You already sort of in this relaxed mode for so long. And you keep losing opportunities, really nice opportunities. For what you're waiting for, it's time to act. Set yourself in a mood and act. Currently, in your current present situation, you're in. You need to learn from fire and implement a little bit of fiery uh, patterns into your behaviors and interactions with other people. 
You need to learn from fire. Somewhere to stand up for yourself. Uh, to say what you really think without being afraid to hurt somebody else's feelings here. So guys, you need to learn from, uh, from fire. My dear water group, you need to learn from me. <laughs> okay, uh, next question. The element you should connect with to feel grounded. We got earth first one, like to spend more physical time with, but to feel more grounded with which element you need connect. Eight of cups. With your own element. How? I'm explaining you how. See this beautiful moon there. And moon um, having an impact on this um, water coming and water going. Like, God. let me translate this for you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I want to translate this in the right way. Because here definitely your element suffer as well. Ebb and flow, yeah, ebbs and flow. So you already uh, for a long period of time in, in this period of flow, but no ebb. Like you have a no mood for something, you too long spending uh, in a depression, stuck in sort of depressive mode, very passive mode, for long period of, of time. I'm sensing like even giving up, like giving up on one of your dreams and walking away from this when you shouldn't. Uh, you should the other way. You should set yourself in mode, but in a watery way here ebb and flow, ebb and flow, but you're constantly having this flow, 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 so you drained. Physical, um, physical time spent with earth, you're getting too much of water right now, but for grounding, for feeling grounded, you need to regulate your primary element, which is water here, guys. You need to regulate it, truly. Because constantly, this is a flow. He's walking away. This is a flow. He's looking somewhere. He might look somewhere in the room, but I'm getting like he's looking at the moon. And this transmits a feeling of unreachable dream for you. Dream on which you almost giving up at the moment not being able to see how you can get what you want or what you need and this is a really bad depressive mood you're keeping yourself in so stop stop keeping yourself in this mood you should experience new app here definitely app of new opportunities here for you okay the element you should connect with to feel inspired let's see the element you should connect with. Oh my god. Queen of Swords. We're not taking her yet. King of Pentacles again, Earth. Financial security, uh, stability, some sort of unexpected income. Work on your earth energies here, on your finances, you should work through time getting a lot. For many of you, I'm getting a message that you should believe, truly believe, that what you love to do is able to bring you big money. And instead of having this constant mindset and fears that if I start doing this, this won't be benefit me, this won't make money for me, this, start asking yourself a question, how I can monetize what I love to do? And write at least five steps or five ideas and do this every day. 
do this every day please guys very important it might repeat you know same decision might come on, on your mind in regards to this question and sometimes it may differ try this practice for at least one month then uh, take your uh, papers uh, or notebook where you will be making all these notes you know and analyze what was popping up most often like idea x and uh, list all the rare ideas Th those ideas which will be popping up m most most of the time it belongs to an earth uh, earth element earth area but those rare ideas belongs to your creative power to watery so analyze it and start acting upon it and try to combine uh, this earth idea which um which you meet in most often which popping up most often in your five steps five actions to your dream activity combine it with uh, one of the rare ideas which won't be repeating during this month and see which one will go the best and that's your plan here to work at the element your spirit wants to be nurtured by okay the element your spirit wants to be nurtured by by whom you want to be nurtured my dear watery elements king of wands by fire yeah you need sort of like-minded people people who are gonna ignite you people who are gonna inspire you people who are gonna say you you can start doing people you know who are gonna push you to do things your spirit your spirit at the moment wants to be nurtured by fire element so you need to surround yourself maybe with fire friends with fire examples those people whose first element is fire element because you need this energy from them right now uh, to change your current flow 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 constant flow energies yeah you need to be a boiled water so sort of i'm getting start moving here you need to surround yourself with fire people who are gonna inspire you for some real real actions because you pulling for already long period of time you pulling you're postponing some sort of actions which needed to be taken like a few years ago okay a message from your elements okay a message from from your element okay last one a message from your element let's see here we go again page of wands again fiery energy here and guys please remember those who are watching your primary element doesn't mean your zodiac sign like water isn't scorpio isn't pisces and um what else was there for water scorpio pisces cancer you may be sagittarius and you may have your primary element water so those of you who are new to this channel please uh, explore primary elements um, videos before going for this uh, reading and picking your pile okay few messages addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block as i said you need to overcome this block with uh, fiery energy some block on your way now on your watery way so everything you uh, experience on like a flow flow constant flow really 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 sad depressive mode like i'm getting like you cut dependent on your fears sort of it's very strange go talk we got for you time with friends as i said moving on happily single living in the moment and having fun you need
need to definitely hang out with some of your fiery friends to have conversations with them and start acting upon something like here at her t-shirt like word yes and you not saying yes to new opportunities in your life because you're holding on to the idea of your ideal world of how you want to see it or how you want to develop it but instead you need to to be more active more grounded live in the moment to me this very much reminds like um a situation for example you're dreaming about person or your love interest you imagining how things will work for you after quarantine or after separation or after some period of time or after you will be taking first step and uh, showing them that you like them or love them or confessing your feelings you're sort of stuck on this but you're not doing you're not acting upon this you're just waiting time and procrastinating and losing on really great opportunities which are much more better from what you imagine for yourself and maybe your partner in this ideal world or maybe you imagining for your career future quite interesting guys okay water please let me know in the comments how do you feel about your reading how do you feel about your recommendations what you're gonna use what you're gonna take and what you gonna start doing please share with us to inspire others as well and we move into the next element and next element let it be fire so uh dear fiery people who have first primary element fire let's ask which element you should spend more physical time with which element you should spend more physical time with with your own native element fire buy yourself candles go to the desert if you have opportunity have this bonfire quiet evening there watch this beautiful bonfire or here is tradition at may holidays they all go and make barbecue using fire what else right to to cook to prepare this barbecue uh, spend more time with fire bonfire real real fire candles all all sort of you need to to connect more to the fire some of you asking me will it work if i will watch on, on like online at internet some fire videos well if you even little candle will work better than you watching this at spend more time with fire and i love this olympus mountain with fire in turkey i loved uh, there so much i would be going second time definitely as well there because there was so much of this fiery energy if you have opportunity maybe to attend such fiery mountain mm, with gas grab it climb it all sort of fiery activities try it but of course stay cautious okay because you don't want to have this disaster when fire gets out of control but here definitely you need to see it uh, by the fire wash at it like even burn all the negative energies okay let's ask an element that you could learn something from right now from whom you should learn right now from which element my dear fire is people <clears throat> from which element from fire uh, okay guys many of you you're suppressing your primary element with some other element you're not letting it shine and burn you may be suppressing it with an earth energies if your third element is earth or with water you constantly you're suppressing your fire but you need to learn fiery ways of achieving your goals a lot of you here with this four of ones card striving for stability 
But remember, stability isn't about fire. We sort of very moody people, like in one day I can make eight videos. <laughs> but next days, uh, one day I might procrastinate entire entire day. Other day I might write 10 blogs, but for next 10 days I'm not in the mood to write any. So fire, not um, you might start something, but you see you don't like it and give up on it. It's okay. For you, it's okay. Because you feel and only in process of doing something. You start doing something. If you don't like doing this, uh, you can give up. Don't push yourself to finish. But some other elements may see you as a freak, like um, air element, because they collect in all possible and impossible information about things they're planning to do from our, our resources. Mm. And then they only make a decision, should they do this or they shouldn't. But for you, it's okay to jump in without information, start doing and see if you like this or not. For you, it's okay. You shouldn't prepare. Yeah, I'm getting you shouldn't prepare parachute. <laughs> not, not literally. Um, figure it. Um, Figuratively speaking, like figuratively speaking, I hope I pronounce it right. You shouldn't prepare parachute. You take into um, sort of you caring too much about getting yourself a parachute. When for you always there are ways. Even if you will be fallen without parachute, the universe is just gonna help you out with maybe someone else catching on you in a very amazing way oh my god it's really interesting as the element you should connect with to feel grounded here <clears throat> the element you should connect with to feel grounded fire is people again fire guys you have a little suppressing fire inside you you're not allowing yourself shine you sort of trying to control your fire you should connect with fire. Oh, fire, fire, fire. Okay. The element you should connect with to feel inspired. Inspiration. You need more air. Okay, guys. Here you need some uh, like adoration from people who going to appreciate what you're doing. You need some feedback. If you are a fiery designer, you need comments from your customers, their friends, your friends, relatives, everyone that your designs looks great. Then you get in this fuel to keep going. It's just same like with me. Uh, when I'm not getting this fuel of comments and everything, I feel like, well, maybe I should spend my time on something else, not making videos. Because I constantly need this fuel and this fuel is able to provide aerial people. <laughs> That's an air element. Um, chat more, because, uh, um, you know, fire, they are innovators. But to get an idea and transform this idea, they need to chat to people who are um, working with a huge massives of information. And this is usually aerial people. So chat to your aerial friends. Maybe you will get some interesting news from them and will be able to extract a really innovative, interesting idea for yourself to go. Like spend more time chatting with your aerial friends or just with friends because this is an air element chatting with like-minded people, connecting to like-minded people getting the like praise and um, adoration and approvement uh, this is everything what is fuel for fire so you need to connect to get inspired because you're suppressing your inner fire here and to be able to come up with new beautiful bright ideas you need this fuel and the easiest way to get this fuel from aerial people and from like-minded people okay 
the element your spirit wants to be nurtured by. <clears throat> the element water. You want to be nurtured by water, someone uh, who really cares, who understands you, I'm gonna take care for you, about you. And water element, you know, watching some really nice romantic movie. That's water. A reading um, nice romantic book, going on a romantic date with someone, um, reading some sort of poetry here, as well as um, I am getting here some sort of spa procedures and this is everything. You need this to relax. So simply maybe by going visiting dolphinarium and connecting with dolphins and getting all this joy. You, you, your spirit wanna be nurtured by water element. Okay, and message from your element. <clears throat> A message from your element. Here we go. Good luck energies. This is the best one message. Guys, this could be your luckiest period in your life. If you will stop suppressing fire, your inner fire. This is uh, like all the roads open for you. Just stop suppressing fire. This is one of the best cards here. I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanna date, and someone definitely wants to date here. Our fiery people, this is a special message for you. <laughs> Guys, maybe some water element wanna date you. No, but that's quite interesting. Someone wanna date you. And in general, this is the one of the luckiest periods for you. <clears throat> Just stop suppressing your fire kisses, unconditional loving, and giving and receiving affection, falling in love again. Guys, as soon as you will stop suppressing your fire and become a really, truly, fiesty, fiery person, which gonna shine bright, You're gonna get so lucky in your love life and in all the other aspects. But for majority of you, like 80% of you who fire people here, I'm channeling like love life somehow important to you. So first changes, lucky changes, you will be noticing within your love life. That's a really beautiful prediction. And let me know, please how it resonates, what, which recommendations you're taking for you, which steps you're gonna make. But that was really beautiful energy for you, fiery people. And we move into our Earth elements. <clears throat> so, dear Earth element, I don't know how I will be putting timestamps on this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, Earth elements. Earth elements, uh, element you should spend more physical time with. Mm. Earth, that's your own element. Like buy yourself a big piece of earth. <laughs> Why I'm channeling this? This is insane. Like, Uh, as well, you can, you know, like walk if climate allows and weather allows, you can walk barefoot. This will be a really nice practice for you, but walk barefoot somewhere safe where there is no glass, no needles, no nothing. Some small piece of earth, but very cleansed. If you citizen, like a habitant of apartment, just try to find for yourself this little piece of earth where you can walk barefoot safely an element that you could learn something from right now mm. air guys this is air element and be more flexible here 
because air is flexible and air is everywhere you need to expand it's time to expand time to expand came but you sort of not feeling free to expand maybe your activities maybe your family like in terms of having kids but you resisting to this idea so you should learn from an air here and to be more friendly here because air is very friendly element you need to be more friendly because you pushing other people away from you building some sort of barriers element you should connect with to feel grounded again air I said you you need more of this um flexibility you're not flexible at all here <clears throat> not flexible at all you know um i have one client who only wants to to buy a house not an apartment but his finances not allowing him to have a house he wants but he wants to move abroad and buy their house that's why he stuck in the middle of nowhere i'm telling him like take it slowly first move then maybe buy apartment and then go for house or just move rent and see how you can start with a house but this person has only ideal plan that miraculous um, by some miracle um maybe some legacy heritage you know he gonna get some amount of money which he needs to buy house abroad and he will move because he deserves only to live in a house where he can control everything where he can be noisy as he wants where there is no neighbors with their annoying cats and dogs and everything no annoying neighbors who are gonna dance over his head and i'm telling him be more flexible and, and he's in earth element be more flexible uh, first go around an apartment later keep, keep going no he is not flexible so he will be staying like this uh, i bet for decades without moving anywhere okay the element you should connect with to feel inspired again this is a world what I say, this is a migration card. And again, this is air card, traveling by air. Maybe you need to fly away somewhere. You need inspiration through traveling, traveling by air. This is an air element again. But here I'm getting clear, you know, you need to travel. You need to travel the world to, to become more flexible and open-minded. Remember this video I made about 21st matrix energy study other people's customs and traditions their culture their way of living mm, try to accept it try to understand it try maybe even to implement it in your life like living one day like a guy from this country other day like a guy from another country but definitely you need to travel or if you have no opportunity financial opportunity to travel connect with different people uh, become more open to new traditions ways of achieving your goals and this everything so you need to be inspired by air and traveling by air the element your spirit wants to be nurtured by lovers that's a water element here guys you want to be nurtured by water element <laughs> why i'm getting that you need like from water person you need some sort of improvement to your very stupid 
uh, ideas. I'm sorry, but literally you stuck with some idea and you see no other ways around you stuck with some imaginary plan and, and you sort of crying for improvement even though me telling you no 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 you need to learn from air look at look at here you need more air into your life more flexibility um but you sort of in denial mode and you sort of i need someone who understands me as i am and my plan and that i'm not gonna change why i'm channeling here like crazily i'm not gonna change i'm not gonna change that's crazy <clears throat> traveling by air <laughs> okay 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 a message from your elements from your elements Two of Cups, more love and understanding. You need a partner and like totally different partner, like from other country or other planet, partner or friend you need to help you to become more flexible because you're not flexible at all, place for you. And yeah, you stuck with your earthly energies. Look at, look at here. You need a partner here to change your worldview. I'm getting like you so much stuck in some very um, ideas of you, which not working anymore. Palm tree stability again. Too much of stability in your life. Hammer, sabotage, and you sabotaging. Whatever I'm telling you now in this reading, you sort of, no, no, I want someone who can accept me as I am. I don't want to change. I don't, I don't want to become more flexible. Strong resistance, sabotaging it. Like, sort of, I don't want to. I just said you before. And an axe break up separation stop the pattern here stop the pattern i'm telling you instead of changes instead of becoming more flexible you sort of searching for cry shoulder where you can cry um, and uh, complain about things not working for you the way you want them to work this instead of becoming more flexible open to new ideas like to the idea of renting an apartment or buying an apartment and getting um, alone with your new neighbors building some sort of friendships there but no i want an only house because this is my piece of land i can da, 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 da. okay so sit here but sitting here uh, this earth element gonna cry to everyone around like ah, I don't want I don't like this country I wanna leave uh, and you're gonna cry to someone someone watery who gonna you know chew on this um, what to say oh my god what is this I wanted to translate for you To chew on this snot, you know, to chew on snot. Um, because water, they too much empathetic. If he will come towards fire, here's of change or don't change. If you don't change and not uh, following my advice, go away, off. Okay, that's my answer. I'm not go, going to pat him on the shoulder and say, yes, yes, this country is very bad. Yes, you're so unlucky. How poor you are, you can buy a house. Let's cry together. This is what water will do. No, go change or don't change. Mm, simply, I told you what to do. You're not willing to do then. What what you forgot here? No, but I forgot here that I wanna cry. So he's striving, this element's striving for someone watery at the moment to cry on the shoulder about the situation which they don't want to change because they don't want to embrace a little bit of more of air element. 
and becoming more flexible. <laughs> That's amazing. So they will be chewing this snot over and over with water element. Anyway, Earth, my earthly, earthly tribe, I'm done with you. <laughs> now, last one, not least, an air element. So, aerial people, element you should spend more physical time with. Remember, this is reading on your current energies. Spend more physical. Earth, you should spend more time, physical time with Earth. As I said, for group number one, hunting trees, walking in the forest, listening to the birds singing, planting something, getting yourself a beautiful plant, um, buying yourself a new perfume or working with aroma oils. This is everything in Earth element. So, definitely, you should work more in the garden and so on. Uh, okay, an element that you could learn something from right now, my aerial tribe. Fire. You need to learn from fire how to be victorious, guys, here. How to be a go-getter, how to be an achiever. You need to learn from fire how to be victorious, how to get what they want, how to be bright. The element you should connect with to be, uh, to feel grounded. Let's see. Oh, again, earth coming and water coming. Why two of them? Okay, here at this card, you see he's climbing. He literally in, in an air, he's in an air here, climbing the stairs. But he needs to be down there, under the tree. To achieve financial stability and security. And as well, you have a lot, somehow, my dear aerial people, you have a lot to talk about. But I'm seeing like... You suffering from lack of communication here. Uh, maybe you communicating, but you communicating to same aerial people. And how communication to aerial people looks like? Remember when I sent this um, in funny test video about primary elements, when I sent this Trump something picture to my aerial friend, um, he uh, and asked if he wants this one. He didn't reply me if he wants or not. He just responded with another funny picture. So, you may be hanging out and having a lot of friends, but the problem, they all are aerial. And they're not giving you deep um, feedback on your feelings. So, you need to hang out with someone watery and tell this everything to them because you sort of sharing with your aerial friends but they don't give a about information you passing them uh, as much as you passing them they loading you with the same amount of crap and you just need ears someone who's gonna listen to you pat you on the shoulder say how great you are or how poor you are or how kind you are who gonna give some feedback on your situation, but people with whom you're hanging out, they're not giving you feedback, so you need both earth and water here <clears throat> to, to shoot, um, oh my God, to shoot, to, to feel more grounded here. Okay, the element you should connect with to feel inspired. your own native element and traveling bingo traveling the world when the last time you was somewhere even in the city nearby you need to travel guys here and as the best way to travel with company or friends of course you need to travel go somewhere maybe uh, go camping because you need to you need to spend more physical time with earth go camping go to mountains um Go to the forest with your friends to pick up some berries, I don't know, or flowers. 
You need to travel because I'm getting you sitting at one place for so long already. You need change here. Okay, the element your spirit wants to be nurtured by. Yes. Yes. I want to say that's wrong. Again, you searching for some feedback and really deep feedback and understanding from your area of friends. But they sort of run at the surface. They don't care about your problems, your feelings, your whatsoever. They only maintaining the exchange of information with you process and this goes for infinity. But somehow you want from the, them this, what you can get from them. You keep wanting this from them. Find someone watery. Okay, a message from your elements. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Uh -huh. A three of Wands. Last one here. Yes. <sighs> Guys, to get your finances in order, you need more information, more studying. Or maybe even to study something in a completely new direction. I'm seeing a lot of you wanting uh, advice badly on this situation from your real friends. But this is in vain. They're not giving you this advice. But you can decide it for your, by yourself just. Because you're not grounded enough on earth element to make such responsible decisions on your own completely on your own you want someone to blame let's say and clock time is ticking decision need to need to be taken making need time takes time time cycles progress hear about progress again new knowledge new information new study and completely new field for some of you. Grim Reaper. Look. Really serious changes ahead, guys, here. For you. Grow and transform your life. Please grow and transform your life here, guys. Really serious changes ahead. What it could be. I'm picking up on many different scripts here of serious changes, but let me know in the comments which changes you're anticipating here, because definitely some gonna like enter your life, some gonna enter peacefully. If you will be able to balance yourself, to ground yourself, to learn from elements, and for some of you, these changes gonna come forcefully in in a, in an ugly way. Anyway, guys, really, really big changes ahead. So we have here sort of two very special groups. This is an air and fire. For fire, there's going to be a really great period of good luck. And for air element, very special message of huge transformation in their life and start a new period of something. I hope you liked this reading if you want me... Uh, to make more, or maybe pick cards on um, primary elements. Uh, and the reading on primary elements is gonna be much better than just um, random pick a card because you definitely already know your primary elements. So this is more like a personal reading here. Anyway, let me know how you feel and if you want more pick a cards like this or another topics. I will be waiting for your comments. I will be waiting for my fuel. <laughs> Where is my fuel, likes, comments, subscriptions? Okay, because I need this to keep going. Very simple, guys. Okay, and I hope to connect with you in my next video. 